Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to deal with the procedure of cantilever beam which is subjected to a point load. We are doing 1D beam analysis. I'll start with double clicking on static structural module. I'll rename it as cantilever underscore point. I'll go to Geometry, right click, New Design Modeler Geometry. I'll go to XY, look at, my unit is in meter. I'll go to Sketching, Line. I'll take up a line and I'll give it dimension 5 meter. Now I'll give it a cross section. Before that I'll go to concept, lines from sketches. I'll select the sketch, apply, generate. I'll go to concept, cross section. I'll take the regular rectangular cross section itself. I'll change the breadth and the height to 0 0.05 meter. I'll go to one part, one body, in that line body, cross section, I'll choose the rectangular cross section that I have designed. Next, I'll go to view, cross section solids. I can see my cross section very clearly. So this is the geometry. I'm not taking any other cross section this time. You can go through the other videos in that I have already taken various types of cross sections and explained. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I will go to mesh. Sizing, I'll change it to fine. Update. I'll click on show vertices. Now, I'll go to static structural. Since it is cantilever, I'll choose point. On one end, I'll apply fixed support. And on the other end, I will insert a force. So the force will be only at this point. So that is why I'm saying this is cantilever beam, which is subjected to a force or a load. I'll change the force component here of Z direction to minus 300 Newton. You can check the alignment. In this fashion, I've applied the load. I'll go to solution, right click, insert deformation directional. I'll change X axis to Z axis. I will also insert force reaction at the fixed support. And I want to get the beam tool result for the stresses. On solving, I get these values. You can see the unit over here is in meter for deformation. So this is the deformation that I can see for a cantilever beam, which is subjected to a point load at one end. This is the force reaction at the fixed end, whose value is 300, because I have applied a load of minus 300, so it is correct. And also I can see the beam tool results for the stresses on the body. So this is how you analyze the cantilever beam which is subjected to a point load on it. I hope you have understood all the 1D analysis of the beams that I have taken you through. Next we will be discussing about continuous beams wherein you will have more parts to these beams and you will have combination of load on the beam. We will also be discussing about the SFD and BMD diagrams. So see you in the next session. Thank you.